People considering genetic testing often ask how their genetic information will be protected and their privacy maintained. This is because genetic information contains potentially sensitive health and non-health information about individuals and their family members. The Human Genome Project, under a program called the Ethical, Legal, and Social Implications Research Program, or ELSI, dedicated 5% of its budget to address potential issues with collecting and handling genetic data. Research from the ELSI program would later be used to help shape legislation on health and genetic privacy. One legislative outcome was the 2008 Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA, a federal law that prohibits genetic discrimination by employers or insurance companies. Health insurance companies are prohibited from using genetic information to make decisions about insurance eligibility, coverage, underwriting, or premium costs. Similarly, employers cannot use genetic information for hiring, firing, or to determine any other employment conditions. But Gina isn't perfect and has several gaps in coverage, namely allowing providers to use genetic information for life, disability, or long-term care insurance decisions. Gina also doesn't apply to employers with fewer than 15 employees, the U.S. military, the Veterans Health Administration, or Indian Health Service. Apart from GINA, state privacy laws, such as the 2018 California Consumer Privacy Act, create additional safeguards around the use of genetic information. However, since the United States has not yet passed a federal genetic privacy law, industry leaders and direct-to-consumer genetic testing companies have chosen to self-regulate and hold themselves accountable to their users. In the genetic testing consumer space, industry leaders, academics, and policymakers established industry best practices for the collection, use, and storage of genetic data. In 2018, the Future of Privacy Forum, a nonprofit group, officially launched its Privacy Best Practices for Consumer Genetic Testing Services, a code of conduct outlining these standards, which fall under three categories transparency, consumer choice, and enhanced protection. Transparency guidelines focus on a company's communication with consumers. Transparent companies provide straightforward explanations on genetic data collection, how it's used and retained, information on privacy practices surrounding the data collected, and comprehensive resources to educate consumers on genetic concepts, risks, benefits, and limitations of testing. Transparent companies also disclose if and how they've complied with law enforcement requests. Consumer choice means giving consumers the chance to decide for themselves how their genetic information is used. Companies that provide clear choices ask consumers to give express and separate consent for biological sample storage and use of their genetic data in research studies. Meaningful choice means in practice granting consumers the ability to access, download, share, and delete their own genetic data. Lastly, enhanced protection means ensuring the security of consumer genetic data. Companies should have strong data security and privacy practices, not share data with employers, insurance companies, or educational institutions without express consent, and comply only with valid law enforcement requests. Beyond industry standards and complying with genetic privacy laws, companies additionally provide opt-in or opt-out options and consent-based features to promote consumer choice. For example, some companies give consumers the choice of which genetic results they want to view. This means the consumer can choose to not view certain results that may cause personal anxiety, like results involving BRCA genetic variants linked to breast and ovarian cancer or genetic variants associated with late-onset Alzheimer's disease. Some require additional opt-in to connect with DNA relatives in their database. This is a popular reason consumers seek DTC testing, however, consumers may learn information they didn't anticipate, such as the realization of non-paternity. Some also require separate and explicit consent to participate in research. And some companies ensure their research programs and partners have institutional review board oversight and a certificate of confidentiality issued by the Department of Health and Human Services. When considering a DTC genetic test, consumers have a role to play in protecting their privacy, which includes being knowledgeable of a company's policies and aware of the choices they have as consumers. 
If consumers choose to upload their uninterpreted genetic data to third-party services, they should read the privacy policies of these services and consumer options before they share their data files. Questions about privacy and genetic information have been studied and addressed since the beginning of the Human Genome Project. A combination of ELSI research, federal and state laws, and standards for the consumer genetics industry has led to important protections for the tens of millions of consumers who have taken a DTC test. 